Hey, what's up? This is Tetsuo, and this is Mitsurugi Kamui Hikai, uh, which is a hardcore action game from uh, indie developers in Japan. Uh, apparently, this was made by only three people, uh, which is pretty impressive, considering uh, it's actually a pretty good game. Uh, it's not quite as uh, in-depth as, you know, Devil May Cry and, the, you know, the AAA stuff, but uh, it's pretty good, considering <laughs> uh, the lack of manpower they had. Uh, so we're going to go on normal, and uh, we'll check it out. We're gonna skip the story, it's just generic anime bullshit. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, you don't really start out with a whole lot. Uh, here's your move list. Uh, this is the Zangeki, uh, which is basically um, your sword attacks. Uh, it uses the katana, the katana gauge, so uh, you can't spam it endlessly. Um, and the way you build it up is with your hand-to-hand -hand moves. So you have uh, just a basic attack string. You have a flash kick, which is a launcher. Uh, you have the dive kick and a sweep. So uh, any of these moves will generate Zangeki Gauge or Katana Gauge. Uh, you have Sonic Slash, which is basically Stinger. Uh, it's a little wonky because you can't like seem to guard or evade cancel it. Uh, but it does break guards, so it's useful for that. Uh, now this is the ultimate move right here, the EI Strike. Uh, it breaks guards. Uh, as you level it up, you can unlock two more hits to the string. Uh, but it does drain your katana gauge pretty quickly, so uh, you can't spam it too much. Uh, this is just the sword in the air. It doesn't really seem that useful, but I could be wrong. Uh, these are your ultimate techniques. Uh, they function very similarly to the way they work in... Uh, the modern Ninja Gaiden games where you can stand there and charge for an hour <laughs> and get it for free, uh, or you can push the uh, release button during the uh, during the charge up and use a bunch of your katana gauge to get it out faster. Uh, you also have a basic counter, you have a parry, uh, you have the Zanshin attack, which is basically uh, when the enemy is bleeding, uh, you can make her do like a typical Iaido sheath attack. And uh, once it does, uh, it will either do a bunch of damage or just kill them outright. Uh, so if you want to play effectively, uh, you basically get them to bleed, uh, get them staggered somehow or knocked down, and then do a Zanshin for the kill. Uh, you get a lot of bonus SP for that. So especially in this demo, <laughs> where you know if you're a cheap ass like me, you can't save or continue the game. Well, the Zanshin is very effective. So, uh, not the most extensive moveset, you know, it can't really be compared to stuff like Devil May Cry and Ninja Gaiden where you have these gigantic movesets, but uh, unlike those games, uh, how those games tend to devolve over time as people break them, uh, pretty much all these moves are useful in some way, except for the sweep. I don't see the purpose to the sweep. <laughs> so with that said, let's uh, go into the gameplay here. <laughs> As you can see, guard canceling the eye slash is like the bro most broken thing I've found. Okay, we got enough SP and we can do some more interesting stuff with the launcher. Yes, 
終わりよ終わりよ終わりよ終わりよ終わりよ終わりよ Unlock the second level of the ice strike. Guard cancelling in this is uh, very smooth. It's very similar to Royal Guard in the DMC games. You can pretty much guard cancel the majority of your moveset. And it allows you to do things you're not normally supposed to be doing. Like the, the eye strike spam that I'm abusing. Well, as you can see, the forward, forward and attack input for the comet kick, for the flash kick, is uh, really annoying. I wish there was a way to remap it, but <laughs> there doesn't seem to be. You kind of just have to work around it, but it's uh, very awkward, to put it nicely. Here's the boss. I don't have the parries or anything, so 
Gotta play defensively here. Or that happens. Since I don't feel like doing another take, uh, I'm gonna buy some health. Never mind that uh, buying that health didn't actually increase it. I've never actually bought the health in this before. <laughs> uh, we should be good now. There you go. Stylish finish. <laughs> didn't need the healing after all. So there's the demo of uh, Mitsurugi Kamui Hikai, uh, which is actually uh, getting greenlit on Steam. Uh, it got through the approval process uh, a couple days ago. Uh, I don't know when they will have it on there, uh, but it will be on there eventually. Uh, they're going to have achievements and stuff, so uh, if you're interested, you can wait for that. Uh, or you can actually buy this game directly from the Playism site. Uh, I will go ahead and post a link in the description. And uh, also, if you'd like me like to see more of this, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments, because I'm kind of on the fence. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to be guard-canceling that Iido slash for the entire game, then I don't know if I want to pay 15 bucks. But uh, if you guys want to see it, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, because, uh, you know, we're nearing the end of a console generation here. There's not going to be a whole lot of uh, other games like this out for a while, so can't really be picky at this point. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. Peace.